Welcome back to another episode of Intoxicados Podcast, your tia's favorite podcast. This is your boy, Don Brandon. Hope everyone's having a m beautiful Monday, an amazing Monday. Right next to me, we got the one, the only. What's up with this slow-ass energy? What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Filipito here. And we're back in Intoxicados Podcast. To the left, we got Don Brandon, the one that gives the best dome. He claims this is your tia's favorite podcast. And don't forget to follow him on Don Brandon on Instagram. And um, to my right, for what everybody's been wondering where he's at, the king of Ecuador, Diego Novoa. Hey, hey, Feels. show some respect when he's huh? like, come on, clap. <laughs> my, so, make my that shit clap. Clapping, make hey? that shit uh, clap for me. Bro, it feels so good to be back. How's everybody doing? Uh, thank you guys. Doing good, bro. <laughs> no, we just missed you. We really did miss you. <laughs> nah, I miss you guys too. I miss being on the podcast. You guys have been crushing the past few podcasts without me. Thank you. I miss you guys. Now I needed, I needed the laughs. I needed the laughs out there and... uh Y'all killed it, bro. Shout out to Ecuador, by the way. We play Brazil today at uh, 6 p.m. Hopefully. So, well, by this part, by the time this part died, we'll, <laughs> we'll know who won. Uh, I think 1 0 Ecuador. I'm about to sneeze. Salud. <laughs> 1 0 zero Ecuador against Chato Brazil? Madre. Yeah, bro. Ah, okay. Hey, so since you were gone, we filmed. No, we only did one podcast. No, no, you did. You did. No, I.E., you did Alejandro. Yes, we did. Just two. There's two. Just two without me. Two without we me. We missed one on accident. Sorry, yeah. guys. We oh, were... and then there was one that we one week we didn't film. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. damn, I haven't filmed a podcast in three. It's been, it's been almost a time. month. How does it feel being back, though? Bro, it feels amazing. Yeah. I needed to be back, bro. I needed to um be back in my... This is literally my home now. Like, yeah. that, it's crazy that I would have never thought I would have said LA is my home. But, like, you know, it feels good to be home. And uh, I'm just ready to work, bro. We were just having that conversation the other day with a lot of people say, like, you know, they head out of town. Oh, they actually, they go they go to a different place, right? They go to a different country. They go to a different state. Well, Felipe and, doesn't go to another different country. Yeah, he just stays in the same, right. same country, right? <laughs> yeah. But, so funny. but people do go, right? And then they say, I'm only going to be there for a year, a year max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And guess what? They end up like completely changing their lives. They end up staying here and they mm -hmm. start calling this place home. Yeah. Is that something that happened to you? Yeah, yeah, for sure, bro. Cause, but the thing is, when I moved out here from Florida and I told myself... I told myself, because this is what happens to a lot of people that I saw coming to L.A. when they do the social media, where they're trying to be a model, an actor, a content creator. A lot of people move to L.A. because, you know, they, they think this is the place, which it is. This is the place of, like, like media, right? To, like, grow and connect and network. And so when I moved from Florida here, I was like, I'm going to move to L.A., but I promise I'm going to move to L.A. I'm not going to be one of those people that have to move out because I didn't make it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't, and I didn't make it yet. I'm nowhere near, but I am in a way better place situation financial wise than when i first came to la you basically right basically cut your bridges off you didn't give yourself any, any bro any, any i told my to come back yeah i told myself i was like i moved to la i'm doing everything in my power to make it and like make a name here and 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 like actually make this thing happen instead of after a year being like those people have to move back to their hometown because it didn't go for go, go well for them or maybe they just gave up on the way and i could have been me bro you guys bro i moved to yeah. la if you guys didn't know we talked about it before like first two or three months you know i had a little place apartment whatever with a roommate and then i sh south and then uh, i went from my car to being in a hotel to luckily finding dope ass roommates shout out to my boy jacob and Sylvie and chris and um evan no, well i'm talking like when i first like after like that whole hotel from car to shout hotel out happy brad. birthday evan oh yeah shout out oh shout out brad bro okay. that's another thing oh happy birthday evan too yeah, shout happy out birthday, you know evan. we forgot to say i forgot to say happy birthday on your birthday so yeah. i just want to say big big happy birthday to you and many more years to come yeah bro so i made i, I made that promise to myself that I, I come to la i'm doing everything in my power to not go back to my hometown so that's what i did and bro sure enough like felipe said bro two months two months into like moving to la um i i signed up i was paying uh zoo culture membership right i was uh i went to zoo culture and that was like 120 a month bro was it 120 already? 120 for me because you got the the, the no i know, the, I know. Uh, what's it called you got the quarantine prices and you go pay like 50 bucks a month 60 60 bucks a yeah. month and when i went that motherfucker brad just 120 a month man like, hey you know i had a double <laughs> <laughs> now nah, but that's a crazy story game like in the in the fact that you re you really just said man Man, you came in with that mentality of like get rich or die trying type shit. It was like, like 50 yeah, cent shit, yeah, no, 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 real shit, bro. Like you have to, you have to put yourself in a sink or swim situation to make that to make it out, bro. Because if not, if you get too comfortable, like I could have, bro, I could have gone back to my my mom's cribs, like just chill. Like, I'm like, man, why, why would I want to be paying rent and worry about what I'm gonna eat today? My mom could just pay Cook. my shit, make my food, but 
nah, bro, I knew, like, this is what I wanted, bro. Like, this is, yeah, you know you, what I mean? Yeah, you went to, you follow something that you really wanted. But what I wanted to ask you, though, like, uh, and, th- and the reason why I'm asking you is because you're someone that was born in a different, obviously, country and state, right? If you were already in a different state, in a different con- uh, different state, in a different, uh, in, in, a, in a good household, right? Mm-hmm. You had your mom, you had your dad and everything. What, how does a person from outside of California view LA? Is it like, is it the connections? Is it like, do you guys see how Hollywood portrays LA to be? Yeah, like I, like I, well, at least me when I lived in Florida, I would look at LA as like this fucking la la land. Like mm. it looked like so dope, like the beaches, the sunsets, the sunrise. They look at California like this dope, ass, which it is a dope ass place. I'm yeah, not saying it's no, not, no but there's better home than LA. Yeah, man. LA is amazing, but like I think, um. I mean, the reality is, the what does Brad say? The the reality is this, right? The, rea- hey, the reality is the this. reality is this, right? <laughs> Traffic, expensive, um, clustered, homeless. You know, like there's a lot of problems, but it's just like any other state. Obviously, you know, maybe there's more here than what I'm used to seeing in Florida. But like, yeah, that's why that's how I saw LA. But then again, there's like that's just what the media portrays LA because that's what they see in movies and right. news and whatever social media they see and. They always show the good of it. So you would definitely say it's like it's kind of like it's um it's definitely a shocker once you get over here and you see the oh bro yeah hell yeah bro yeah yeah that shit me like I was like damn bro it's expensive here yeah. like <laughs> bro I didn't even know how I was gonna pay rent like yeah. once I moved here I was like Fuck. Yeah. like how am I doing how am I it, bro, it's funny because I, I said this before like back then when I was in, in TJ and we would watch the Disney movies or whatever and first and they would uh they would def- like they would show L A of how it is. I always thought that when you were here, if you would walk through Hollywood, you would run into like Brad Pitt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, back then, like I, I guess I was little. No, but stupid. you do do that. No, you do, but not a, not not as often as I thought. No, you would, okay, you, know what I mean? <laughs> you don't just like, walk. I thought I thought I would go to my. I thought, <laughs> I thought you would go to Vallarta and see Brad Pitt like, oh, nah, he's like, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, that motherfucker's at Air One. That be goofy now, nah, gang. I just, that motherfucker's at Air One, gang. Nah, I know, but I'm trolling you, bro. I'm sorry. No, 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 I know, I know, but I was, I was a baby, you know, I was nah, like, yeah. a, back then I thought I was gonna see. Like, Were you the this, same size then and now? I grew up, I grew up. Nah, you're tall. You're a tall person, bro. I'm, I'm actually. Oh my hey, do the jokes get to you, bro? No, nah, no, not the short, short, no, not okay. the short jokes. Right, just in case, let me know. Like, if you ever get too sensitive about it, let me not know. Not the not the short jokes, but I'm the type of person like si te llevas that want us. You know what I mean? And mm. what you do? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just more like I hate those that like make a joke about somebody else and then they can't take the joke. Yeah, one hundred percent, bro. I you, think it's one of those things where like it do, nah, it doesn't get me at all because I'm I'm very comfortable with who I am and that's something that I. I, it, it came a couple years ago. Like, yeah. back then, yes, I was self-conscious about this, self-conscious about that. But then, bro, like, if you're not comfortable in your own body, then, like, you're never going to be comfortable with yourself. So, yeah, I think it de- it doesn't get me, but it's kind of one of those things where, like, like, I've never met someone, and then they just come up to me, and they're like, damn, bro, you're short as f-. <laughs> And I'm just like, hey, hey, bro, how you doing? Like, you can ask me anything else. It was like that that conversation with having with, uh, with Gibby. Like, oh, Gibby yeah. got so fed up that people would just come up to him and be like, Gibby, you know? So, oh, I was like, I was like what are we talking about? Gibby, Gibby. Yeah, like, I know. Yeah, Gibby. Mike yeah. 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 My, my, my bad. Yeah, so that's what it is, but no, it's cool. I feel I'm it. With it. Felipe, you uh, you did something special this past week. I know, man. It was it was insane. It was, a, it was pretty crazy. I'm not going to go too deep into it just because I, I've seen the comments sometimes. Like, you don't want us just to review the video that much. But uh, realistically, we went to the U.S.-Mexico border. Uh, I was always on U.S. territory. I never once stepped foot on Mexican soil. But um, it was insane, bro. I'm not going to lie. And the bickering y'all seen in that video, that is real bickering for me and Brandome. <laughs> yeah. This motherfucker. <laughs> if I was man, if there was two more left lanes, I'll be on those two other left lanes. And I'm over here begging Brandon. I'm like, yo, Brandon, please slow it down, gang. Get on your right lane. I'm really sounding like like a. Bitch. I'm gonna keep it eight more than ninety two. <laughs> I was really like on some like yo, like Brandon, I'm begging you types to slow it down and get on your right lane. Man, stop. who driving the car? You want to drive? And he knew I was scared to drive here. Like he knew, like I didn't know my way around San Diego or San Isidro. And boom, gang, this motherfucker Brandon. Damn, can I miss the exit? And I think he's <laughs> trolling, and he really did miss the exit. Luckily, there was an extra exit. I don't, I don't know what exit it was. Um, San Isidro. It was San Isidro. But he, he didn't even know like there was another exit. Like he realistically believed he missed the exit. 
Anywho, I knew there was another X. Now, how come you were like, bro, I look, you got scared. Bro, because I was, I was just going with the flow, bro. You were going with I the flow? Just, <laughs> yeah. 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 And you yeah. even said, I, I swear to God. Bro, I swear to God. I bro, was it was not like that. Yeah. Off camera, yeah, yeah, you yeah, do. Yeah. It was, if, you, if anybody clips this up, just pop it up. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, he reset it on the video. Like, oh, bro. But he had said it. Like, yo, okay, I'm not going to lie. I really, I really thought I missed it. Like, no bullshit. <laughs> Cameras aren't rolling. So there's no D from would be funny. And then, thank God, thank God, you know, we got there safe. Everything was dope. And uh, it was an amazing time. It was dope. It was, like, it was like a bittersweet moment being able to see Mexico. Same time, like, I could easily cross, like, oh. But you back. saw Mexico. Like, that was what you wanted. Yeah, that's literally what I wanted. That was the whole point of the video. I wanted to see Mexico. And I got to see it. And, then, you know, no me aguante. You know how <laughs> Brandon said? El que se lleva se aguanta. No me pude aguantar, bro. I was like, no, I can't go. I can't. <laughs> Like, I was, like, really, like, about to cry, bro. Like, I was this close to crying. Like, you can see in my face, I was this close to crying. But I really do want to thank you and Brandon for dealing with my sh For mis caprichos, basically. Like, like I wanted to do it. I really wanted to do it. But I couldn't, bro. I wasn't man enough to the, go yeah, all the way. The thing about a group, bro, the group pages, group uh, content creators or whatever, bro, I feel like everybody has to be on board to agree with one person not wanting to do something or you know what i'm saying at some point because if not bro like that's how fights start breaking out like now nah, okay he made me do this or you know what i'm saying oh of course you yeah. know what i mean like you have to like I think understand where the chemistry has to be right and you have to be very understanding with each other you know what i mean mm -hmm. so going with you like you wanted to do it right um yeah we have to clarify because i saw comments already bro like why would you guys make felipe go like this no, was not our no, idea I, it was my idea Look, i wanted to see mexico this whole, the, whole, the whole idea of the, uh, the video was felipe told he told us this during the stream he said yo i want to go to uh, i want to go to san diego i want to be close to the border and then i want you and diego to cross over tj and bless people right yeah that was we the idea said, we that said i don't think idea. it's safe to go to tijuana with the camera and just start blessing people me personally seeing how tijuana is i didn't want to do that right but whatever there was there was more to there was more to risk going to san diego with uh felipe's immigration status than us crossing the border right so we said it, we're gonna do it felipe went really 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 close regardless that you didn't get to like where the where the mexico thing is at Regardless of that, you got way closer than anyone yeah. would ever get close to. Not a lot of people would have crossed. Yeah. It was, it's pretty scary. Um, and you did that. I'm proud of you. Proud of you, bro. Thank real you, shit. bro. Real shit, man. But uh, how come you didn't go to TJ? I was, well, really, I was generally curious. I know it's a dangerous city, and a lot, a lot of y'all will agree with me. But I really thought y'all wouldn't go in and out quick because we could go to Mexico. We can't go to Mexico, but it was a whole, it was a whole thing. No, no, no. Like, it's not we. It's we, we <laughs> can go to Mexico. We, him and I. Yeah, you and him Diego. And I, Diego That's got to be the new shit. Yeah, bro. we. We really could. We, 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 we can go. We spoke a lot of French, we huh? We spoke a lot. I saw we. that comment. That shit was funny. <laughs> yeah, so we, we did. We were able to go. So um, I think the whole reason why we didn't. So I'm not going to lie. Mm -hmm. And this is, people don't see this, but Diego was a little pressed about you not getting to where you have to get to. Uh -huh. And he was like, no, we're going to go back. We're going to go back. And then if you would let me speak on it, right? He said, we're going to go back and we're going to do this. I'm going to tell, uh, I'm going to tell Felipe that he's a fucking, it's, it's un hipócrita because he wanted to be here, but he's not here. <laughs> and like the purpose of this video is because he wanted to be here. Uh -huh. Why does that, wait, 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 why does that word sound so much like? Hipócrita? Aggressive hypocrite. in Spanish though. Then the hypocrite? Yeah, then hypocrite. Yeah, it's like, hipócrita? No, it's, it's un hipócrita, it's un hipócrita. <laughs> he's the one that I wanted to do this video. Now he's not here. No, watch. He's like, just follow my lead, okay? I said, we're going to go back to Jack in the Box and just follow my lead. Like, All right. So we walked back, the little zigzag, we went back. Yo, Philippe, where you at? There's this and this. I don't really got to tell you too much what happened, but yeah. he was pressed about you not being there. He about said, not me physically walking to physically where he said Mexico? Right there, yeah. Where you then, said, and I quote, and then just I just want to clarify that. For like, um, these motherfuckers in the video, you can see walk up, like, who the f*** be at the border right next to Mexico? Us, this motherfucker said, that's just a security guard, bro. That's not we actually great. just We actually just looked at the badge. And uh -huh. it was private security. Private security. And what's was private security going to do? No, no, just, just seguridad. No. Ah, it. It. it wasn't an immigration no, officer. No, it wasn't okay, okay. immigration. It was private security. Man, and it, that and figured out. No, no, I want, I, want, I want the people to know the truth. No, and, yeah, and, 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 there and was then, a lot of things behind that video that a lot of people didn't know, which is fine. And yeah. we, we've been seeing the, the backlash from it. Man, I don't go f bro. I'm not, I wasn't going to go. I, I was a I'm not going to lie. I'm so proud of you, bro. Thank you, bro. I appreciate so that one. You, yeah, you did good. You did amazing. Damn, that's was scary though, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I I bet, bro. I I don't think I would. To be honest, I don't. think 
then again, I don't mean to be offensive, but I don't think I'll be like dumb enough to like go over. Nah, there just nah, because, bro. Like, Diego said you're literally playing with fire at that point. No, of course, bro. But uh, anyways, man, it feels good to be back. Um, I'm proud good. of you guys. You guys held up the f- channel, the podcast. Uh, I don't know the podcast. <laughs> we missed an episode, but thank we you. did. Well, it wasn't y'all fault. We didn't have the studio. It's not your fault. It's not like you said, "No, nah, we're not gonna film today." But yeah, I'm. Uh, what else are we doing? What We've we been do? working. We we just got out working from you know coming back working the merch. That we did. Yeah, merch is dropping this month. Huh? New merch coming yeah. out this month. Damn. We're trying Hopefully to make sure we, we have, put out fire. Hopefully, we have the mock up that we could pop up right here. Yeah. There's a little tease. No, a little, yeah, little tease. Pop it up. A little tease. A little tranqui. We said we were in the, in that office for what? I had four or five hours just mm. cooking up. Okay. Probably gonna, more, bro. And I'm gonna tell you guys, like, all the designs that were there, they're freaking amazing. One of the best designs. One of the best drop that we're gonna have. Um, and it was all thanks to like all the boys here. They were coming up with ideas, they were getting creative, they were coming up with crazy phrases. It's it's gonna be an amazing drop and I can't wait for you guys to see it. Once again, we're having two drops, one at Zoomies and one in our personal um uh personal website. So stay tuned for that. What's the website? Los Chicos Toxicos. www.loschicostoxicos.com Yeah, that's the website. Oh, we just had fifteen thousand subscribers on here as well. So shout out to y'all. Thank you guys so much. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Let's get to 20,000. 20, By the way, guys, we're a little like back and forth, back and forth. We're just trying to get back into rhythm. It's been a been long week, bro. It really has, huh? It's, yeah. Been, yeah. it's been a long, it's been, it's, there's been a lot of things that have passed. Um, obviously, um, I don't know if you want to, you know, uh, shout out to people because I'm pretty oh, sure yeah. a lot of kind folks. Yeah, nah, yeah. Nah, I mean, this is my first episode back. I feel like it's only right to talk about what's been happening, you know, off cameras and stuff. Um, yeah, man, shout out to everybody that reached out that uh messaged me and dropped comments regarding my dad and um yeah bro i mean it's kind of crazy to even think about that bro who would have thought that this year all three of us would be on the same page now bro the same exact page gang all of us all of our fathers unfortunately have passed <clears throat> and um yeah man i uh went to florida first and shout out to you guys you guys don't even know this we didn't record any of this and we didn't even post on on stories or anything i think they did but the guys actually came with me to florida when i got the news that uh my because because my father was like already passing like he was in hospice right and he was in uh you know i got the call like hey this is happening and you know it's any any moment now today so whatever so the same day i got the call um i bought my flight to go back to florida and the guys actually reached out to me and they were like, hey, bro, if it's cool with you, we would love to go with you and, you know, give you company. The only thing is we can only go till Saturday. And it was like a, it was like a Wednesday or it was like a Wednesday or a Thursday. And so, yeah, I was, I was like, yeah, bro, of course, like shout out to you guys for coming through and showing love like you didn't have to. They bought their they bought their their ticket out of their own money. They didn't even ask, like, oh, can we take it out of the business account? Like, you know, these are real friends, guys. Like, I can't thank you guys enough because, uh, bro, it was tough, bro, especially like I didn't I would not want to be alone with just my mom there like that shit killed me so having you guys there was nice to you know these are real friends i can't i can't say it enough and so they came with me to florida they, they stayed with me till saturday and then they did back and then um bro let me let me tell you guys this crazy crazy shit of what happened like this is what happened right i want to say my on the august 15th i don't know what day that was i think it was like a thursday i don't mm-hmm. know I, want, I don't know the exact day but it was august 15th that he passed away right so my dad's final request my dad fell in love with Ecuador, right? Like he like my mom, he would go to Ecuador with my mom and he loved it. He loved the culture. He loved the people. He loved everything about Ecuador that he, he became like so more, um, like with, he became more attached with my family in Ecuador than he kind of was more attached with his own here in the States. Did, did, did mom and dad meet in Ecuador? Nah, bro. They met in Florida. They met in Florida. They met in Florida. Um, but I don't, you know, like my dad was a little older. So like, his pops passed his his <clears throat> mom passed um his younger brother passed i think he only was he's only left with like you know like he doesn't have that much ma- he didn't have that much many family members here in the states right yeah. he's from california and he moved to florida so like you know there was distance and all that so anyways he told my mom like he was like hey like when my time comes i want to be in ecuador buried in ecuador because we have um a spot in ecuador for our whole family like my grandma's there my uncle's there and now my dad is there. Like, that's mm-hmm. where he wanted. He was like, this is where I want to be. And so his request was, like, put me next to uh, grandma, which was my mom's mom, obviously. He was like, I want to be next to your mom. And all that. that was his request. So sure enough, you know, my, my dad passed. And um, and my mom 
she she had to like you know like she felt like she needed to you know finish fulfill, his fulfill his that dream. fulfill that that dream and um so she told us like hey we're gonna send him to ecuador and um this was like again this was like a thursday right so they were like hey this is gonna take about two or three weeks to to make that happen because it's the process they got to do paperwork they got to find flights and all that stuff yeah. so i'm like okay so what i'll do is i'll stay here in florida for a week and then I'll go back to L.A. to come and, you know, because I wanted to get work done on the merch so we don't, you know, spend more time. So I was like, I'll go back to L.A., I'll work for a week, and then from L.A. I'll go to Ecuador. So, boom, that was the plan. Sure enough, um, bro, like a, a week goes by. Let's say, it was like, the, so the, now the following Thursday comes, and we were I was supposed to fly out, like, that Saturday to come to L.A. Cause they, I, it was, it's going to be another week or two before that we get any update on if he's going to go to Ecuador. Yeah. So then, boom, we get an email. Hey, we actually, um, we're going to send, uh, I don't know why it sounds so weird. We're going to send his body. You know, we're going to send the body to Ecuador on Tuesday instead of, like, they moved it quick. Yeah. And I was like, damn, that was quick. All right, fuck it. So we'll just go from Florida to Ecuador. So now we bought our flight to fly Sunday to go to Ecuador. So I get to Ecuador Sunday. This is, um, I'm telling this story because this timeline is crazy and I, it's just God's timing, bro. Mm-hmm. So now they moved it up to Tuesday. So now I was like, okay, cool. Like, whatever. We have to go to Ecuador now. So I, mo- I bought my flight with my mom to go to Ecuador. Sunday we get there. Monday I go visit my godmother, right? I visit my godmother who's been very... She hasn't been very sick, but she's been sick, right? And whatever. So it just so happens that that morning, uh, se recayó. I don't know how to say that in English. Yeah, she just, yeah. So she got like... I, something happened with her oxygen. Uh, like, she couldn't breathe as well. And she was... Anyways, I get there. And I have this all on video because I was vlogging. I was vlogging me surprising her, my godmom because this like my, my this was like a lady that raised me with when my mom was working and you know my I didn't have, like you guys know I didn't have a biological father growing up so this is the lady that raised me like every 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 day so whatever so I go and I visit her and I surprise her and she's at the house and she like you know she sees me she she's crying and all this stuff because she's like happy and I see her just really sick right so. Boom, I visit, I, I stay there a couple hours because this was on Monday, right? And on Tuesday was my dad's uh, burial or Wednesday. Regardless, anyways, Monday, I go visit her. Bro, kid you not, I go, I sit, I see her for a few hours and then I go home like 8 p.m. because it was getting late and, you know, past a certain time in Ecuador, you have to be careful in the streets. And I get a call, bro. Yo, God, mom's just passed. I'm like, you can't be fucking like you this got was, it this was really unexpected bro it was just one of those things where like her i'm like said that they're also su, su, su health and then bro it was just like bro i get chills talking about it because like it's god's timing yeah. bro what are the odds that i was supposed to you know like i was i was gonna come back to la i was gonna do all this and he was like nah man you gotta go see your god mom like yeah. he, bro like they moved my dad's thing up to tuesday and i kid you not monday she passed and I'm like, bro, what? Like, what's going on right now? Sure enough, I'm like, okay, well, you know, like, obviously, right then, I'm, I'm, I'm showing no emotions now because I feel like I let everything out already. Like, I don't know, man. And I'm like, okay, well, tomorrow's my dad's burial, bro. I'm just mad at this point because I'm like, well, now I got to do this bureau and my godmoms, bro. And so I go to Tuesday. They don't clear my dad's body from customs, bro, till like 7, 8 p.m. o'clock. So we weren't able to bury him what, on Tuesday. Can, can you? Can, I mean, I don't know if you knew, but can you? Can can you or someone that's watching? Can you please explain to me what that is like? Clearing a body through customs is it like? I wish I could tell you. I thought it was. You know, I would think. I would think it's simple. He has a blue passport because he's a U- United yeah. States citizen, and I don't know what it was. It was just they just took a long time to. We were supposed to bury him at three or four p.m. Yeah, and it was like they didn't clear him till like eight p.m. By that time, like the the cemetery closes and all this yeah. stuff. So now they tell us, hey, the, the body got cleared really late. We can't do it today. So now we got to bury him on Wednesday. Bro, sure enough, the same day I bury my dad, it's the same day I got to bury my godmom, bro. I remember seeing that. And I'm like, what the f*** is like that day? That sh- is just f-ing crazy, bro. August 28th. Dude, I can't forget the day. August 28th, I go. My dad's burial was first at like 10 a.m. or 11 a.m., and then my godmother was at 12, like 12, it was like at one. So I went literally from my dad's to my godmom's all in one day. 
And I talk about it and I, I, I give you guys this timeline because I just want to tell you like this is it was just God's timing that everything happens. You know, I could I could be mad. I could be upset. But uh, truly, it's like I can't question him, bro. It's it's just part of like, you know, this learning process this learning lesson. I don't know. It's just part of this learning life, shit, bro. So, um, yeah, I yeah, I went to Ecuador and then I stayed for a few days and then I came back. But, uh, you know, you, you know, know? I, I love asking questions and shit, but like. Which one? I mean, I'm sure maybe it was both equally, but which one would you say hurt the most? Because I know you had two services. You had the one in Florida and you had the one in Ecuador. Mm. I know the one in Ecuador was to, you know, rest so your dad can be resting finally. But which one would you say hurt the most? Or was it one like one you, you did the first one, it kind of went away and then the wound reopened because you had to do it again? Yeah, bro. I think it was uh, obviously my dad's, you know, it's equally. The thing is, like when my godmom passed. I just, I'm still on my dad. I'm still griefing on my dad yeah. that I feel like I didn't give grief enough with my godmom. I don't know if that makes any sense. Like, yeah. I feel like I wasn't, like, my memories were still on my dad. And I would try to, like, damn, man, I, then this happened. And then, like, I try to, like, remember, like, you know, all the good with my godmom. But, yeah, definitely my dad, Um, I was going to say was, like, mm, definitely, like, I think what hurt the most Fuck. being front row at um at the cemetery like seeing your your they've seen a coffin go down that is like you can't prepare for that bro That's i crazy. thought i was gonna be good like because i already cried like i cried in florida and i cried in ecuador you know before like i already did everything right and i'm like you know what like i'll be good like i'm i'm good bro being front row at your parents uh, casket going down and crown bro that shit, that shit was like because you're literally just front row right here the casket's right there and you see them just putting that shit down and then i think the worst part about it all was uh knowing you were never gonna see that that yeah. casket even not that just the person like even just the casket ever again bro once yeah. they put that second layer of at least over there in ecuador they cement. put a second layer of set of uh, cement and then like i see them putting down the cement and i'm like really like looking i'm like damn bro like that's it like that yeah. and you're front row at your f dad's burial it's a it's a trip and bro that it, shit that it, shit it, is like you and uh you and i were having that with that conversation the other day driving back we had said how it's f crazy how literally that's the last time mm -hmm. you'll ever ever see that person yeah. again or that the body ever again you yeah know what i mean and it's it's definitely shocking bro it's something that would always stick to you or definitely stuck to me when the whole situation with my dad happened i remember when they opened the casket too just so you can see it's such a it, it's such a trip because he literally looks like he's just sleeping yeah you know what i mean like yeah like you like deep inside of you like you just want to be like dad like wake up but it's you know you're just I mean? expecting him to open his yeah, eyes right yeah, yeah yeah it's crazy yeah bro it sucks but, man um, like but honestly like i mean i can't like i don't i don't see what's behind closed doors obviously yeah but definitely to us you've been keeping your head high and you've been doing everything you can just to keep pushing forward and yeah i hope you know that we're very proud of you even though we around this this and this but telling you as a brother bro like we're very proud of you and we're here for you for whatever you need I, i've told you this in front of cameras outside of cameras and everything and uh the thing about you is that you haven't let that shut you down you keep getting yeah up every bro morning i'm and keep trying going dog. and going and going i'm trying i mean i think what's uh i'm just taking it day by day bro like that's all you can do in these times it come the griefing bro this is my first time really like griefing like i've never gone through this before and that's comes in waves dog like if anybody if anybody's ever lost somebody really really close to them like i could like what did i tell you the other day i was in the shower thinking about my day like it didn't hit me till i was like showering and i was like oh like i gotta do this today i gotta do this today and then i gotta call my dad to check in on him and that's bro that's when it hit me i was like holy f yeah damn and i was like and then right like for like one minute i just stood there like just in blank just like showering and I was like, "What the? F it's definitely and a like, trip. yeah. But I mean, it's it's unfortunately, you know, it's part of life, bro. That's one thing guaranteed in this life is death, and um, it's just it's it's just preparing me and uh, building me for the future. You know, um, I, f I believe everything happens for a reason, and this is just uh, it definitely it definitely makes me look at life different, way mm -hmm. different. 
I value my mom so much more now. I feel like when when all this happened, I, I I'm ever since I I check in on my mom now a lot more. When I was with her in Ecuador, I was like enjoying every single minute with her, like every, even like a little conversation, holding her hand or like, cause again, you really don't know, bro. You really don't know when's the last time, yeah. You can have somebody open their mouth and and you'll hear a, a voice come out of them. You know what I mean? It's in a trip to think about. So yeah, it definitely makes me look at life more, appreciate life more, because yeah, man, just it's crazy. It's crazy, bro. Like fucking nuts. No, that's, that's why cool. I say y'all should travel, man. Travel. Like really travel, bro. Cause you can too. I don't know why. You do, don't look at me it's like that. Even, I, you know what? I'm, I feel like I got to travel where? Like, travel like anywhere. Go meet. Aww. Go do. Sh go meet people. Go f do. Sh you want to do in this life before you like. I really f I mean, are I, just there I'm and sorry, they're like, I'm sorry, what did I do with my life, bro? Of course, I'm sorry. To, I'm sorry to cut you off. And at least the message I'm getting from like, obviously, what's been happening to you and happening to Brando and, and you know me too, is. You never know when it might be the last time. So, you know, go go talk to that person you don't talk to no more. Like, whether that be a family member or friend. Because yeah. you realistically don't know, you know? Yeah. Like, I'm not going to speak on a lot of personal problems, but we've lost a lot of people this year, you get me? Mm. And what I get out of it, like, what I take away from all everything that's ever happened to us or me is you never know when someone's last time. So go hug them. Man, drop it. It was over money drop it bro is it really worth it you know like mm -hmm. god forbid something happens yeah so like this is a sign um you know if you have someone that you love whether that be a friend family member a neighbor i don't know even your dog but even sometimes be neglecting <laughs> my own dog okay? yeah go go hug him because you never know when it might be the last time you know uh life is beautiful but it, it, is, it comes quick and it leaves faster yeah that's what no. I'm trying to show. I, and I say travel, like, I'm not saying travel to, like, like, I'm saying travel because, like, like you said, like, the money shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I saw both my dad and my godmom, you know, pretty much hospice, like, right? Like, my godmom was pretty much hospice. And in that moment, I'm thinking, I'm like, you know, like, in this very, very moment right here that she's going through or he's going through, money is the last thing on their mind, bro. It's just health. It's literally just health. What could what could he be doing or she be doing if they were healthy, bro? Like, just imagine. I don't know, bro. And I just think about like, I would just be, I would just want to be like meeting and doing shit, and jumping out of a plane and going to Paris and going to, I don't know, bro. I'm just thinking of like, you know, what I'm saying like in those moments, that's when I hit hit me and I'm like, bro, I want like you're you're alive, bro. We are alive. Let's let's do things. Let's go travel. Let's go do this. Go conquer the world. Go achieve goals. Go, um start that business i don't know just know like we are alive bro they for the one second take that in that we're alive and we we got to make the most out of it while we're still here mm -hmm. you know what i mean what so I mean, bro you literally said a spot on like literally um and i'm not trying to take away your words but literally exactly how you just described it like we are alive like you know i'm always complaining about i don't got paid bro i'm i'm blessed bro there's someone right now really in their deathbed like yeah and i'm over here complaining like bro like yeah, what I are you tripping make about? That excuse, you get me? Like, no. bro, what? The f so that's how. That's what exactly what I was trying to portray into the video we just did. Yeah, like, bro, you're. I'm alive. You get me? I'm blessed, bro. I'm really blessed. Yeah. So, um, damn, Diego, that was deep, bro. Bro, and again, you know, you're like my brother, and um, I will always be here for you. You know, me and Brando. Thank you, bro. No, I mean, uh, it's part of life, bro. Like we said, everybody knows that one thing guaranteed. Yeah. Because you can do. You people say taxes and death. You can get away with taxes. Realistically, just flee the country. IRS about to come out after me after this shit. But uh, uh just flee the country. But uh realistically, and that's the that's another trip, gang. Like bro, with death is like, damn, what the f happens? Like what, you know? Nobody knows. That's the most that's the unsolved question, bro, cuz nobody knows and nobody is there to tell you what truly happens. And then that's when you start tripping about what is, where's my dad like what what's going on with my dad now like, and you know go ahead. Then we get we, we, we're gonna get into religion and all that but i know there is a god and you know yeah. i i, I life, believe life in, in general is such a trip if you actually sit back and just look at it because it's the same thing the same cycle that's been happening for like millions of years thousands of years you know you are born you meet someone in your life you procreate you have family you enjoy the that whatever time you have with your family and then boom you pass away mm -hmm. and then you know if you really get into details like you say you know you go to heaven there's this and this but it's such a big like 
freaking cycle and it, it's crazy some, i'm telling you, sometimes i sit back and just like i'm like damn we just really came here to make more, more babies and at the end of the day once your job is finished is boom it's gone yeah it's you just, know what i mean yeah yeah and then like it just truly doesn't hit you until you it, it like I, I think my, my when i went to church like the priest said it in this way and it kind of woke me in a bit and it was like you know you see on the news these many people have died that person died this person died like you see it like you see all these like um from the outside you're like seeing the people all this happens to people mm -hmm. but until it comes knocking on your door and it ha and it's like it hit really really close to you that's yeah. when you like that's when it truly truly starts hitting you like like damn you know like this is it this is all we have this is what we're limited time on this earth and um there's i do believe there's eternal life and this is a whole different topic that we don't have to get into yeah. but you know like Yo, i said i do believe in god and I, I i i know my my dad was an angel on this earth and so was my godmother and yeah. I, I can i can i can only imagine the angels that they are now for us for me yeah. at least so yeah now they're watching over over you yo but we were having i mean i don't know if we can get into it but we were having a conversation yesterday that you went to go see a lot of your family members mm. more specifically you went to go see your grandma right or your aunt um, bro, that's oh like, yeah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. Tota. tota that you went to go see. Yeah, tota. yeah, yeah. Oh, can, my can you explain to me? Oh, you can explain can can I, subscribers can, who she is. Go oh, ahead. Okay. No, you go ahead. Say something. Can I just say something crazy, guys? Uh, for those who don't know me, like <laughs> in a personal level, um, my name is Felipe. Like my real name is Felipe, and I am a like geek. Like I love like I love shit that boggles your mind, um, or like makes you wonder, or even like rethink a lot of things for example i'm obsessed with like these shows called like ancient aliens at least back in the day or like the history channel that's why i'm so fascinated on history and just like sci-fi stuff and some stuff obviously y'all probably seen it and you're like bro that's so like far-fetched like that's fake bro like it just but it just my my mind consumes it like like it was fucking food you feel me like or like gambling like you know i'm addicted to gambling i'm addicted to like shit that that boggles your mind and um, I remember watching a bunch of these shows like Ancient Aliens or Hangar, Hangar 51, shit like that, you know. And there'd be like people on there talking about like, oh, yeah, like I, 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 I strongly believe that I was abducted by aliens and aliens have visited me. And they talk about how they were, they were like, you know, beamed away and then like taken and experimented on and like there's many people that believe that you know in the united states and all over the world and um and and, and there's a lot of propaganda with it like oh if, if people find out about aliens it will ruin religion or ruin politics you know uh, so it's just really far-fetched to me right and i've always seen these shows and i'm like and i kind of in my mind is like that's fake you get me like it's fake but i'm like it's so like good that it, I'm like, imagine it's real mm. though. You feel me? And um, I've always, I've always watched. It. And fun fact, I actually forgot to tell you yesterday. Me and my suegro, uh, Don Alberto. That's when we, when I first met my girlfriend. That's how we became close because he would watch it too, and we'd have crazy, like crazy, like theories and this and that. And he was that was the only one that ever like really related to me on that whole concept. Yeah. I feel like that's why we became close because. Of like the things we were talking about. Can't go really into detail what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. But that's the things we were talking about, right? And then Diego hits me with the crazy like yesterday me, Diego and Brandon are coming back from, you know, uh sketching up um our merch, you know, designing and all that. And we're going to like deep topics and we're on the way back from San uh, we're on the way back from O C and um there's like it looks like a rocket and it's like burning up. But it's going up. I'm like, is that a meteor? I'm like, meteor usually shoot down. You get me? <laughs> and then, but I know, I'm like, no, nah, sometimes a meteor shoot up. It just depends on, the, you know, the diagonal of the trajectory <laughs> that it's hitting. And I'm just like, gang. And then, boom, it just explodes, right? It disappeared. It disappeared. It poofed. Like, there was a cloud there. It poofed. Oh, it poofed out? It poofed. Uh, it, it poofed. Yeah. Nah, nah. You see, this, this was actually in Anaheim. If anyone's seen it, Telling you, it was going up, 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 and it, it was leaving a trail, like a trail of fire. Fire, yeah, red. Fire. We just thought it was like, a rocket. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, thought yeah it was a, we thought it was a rocket till it just, it just disappeared. disappeared. But it literally, it just vanished. Yeah, it, it vanished. Was, it just boom. I didn't see the. No, it was just vanished. Yeah. But there was a cloud there, so I don't know. I didn't okay. see it explode either, but yeah. I saw a cloud. So I, assumed, I, I get to it. I assumed the poof, right? And and I'm like, no, way. like you know, like I always, and I don't like bringing up aliens. Cause I don't want to sound crazy. I'm like. But anyways, Diego brings it up like, yo, uh, do you believe in aliens? 
And then I'm like, I I believe in aliens because I also I, I like I you know because the like you know in science I I I really am into science. I might not be smart, but at least like the shit that fucking intrigues me, I I I dive into it. But go ahead, Diego. Tell them. What so you go into talking. rabbit holes with stuff. I like go that. in a lot of rabbit holes, okay. like a lot of a lot of stuff. So then I go into the topic, and I'm like, I, I just ask about aliens, and I'm like, yo, y'all want to know? You want to hear a crazy story? And let me know if I should interview this 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 lady after this story. So I tell Felipe, I'm like, yo, um, I actually have a, a a crazy ass story of my aunt. She's like, yeah, she's my aunt. I will say like my grandma, pretty much, but like my aunt, right? And uh, it's Pepe. You guys know Pepe. You guys know who? It's one of my cousins that they personally met. So they already have a personal attachment because they met the grandmother of my cousin, right? So I'm like, yo, um, her name is Tota, right? And um, she she claims gang well first of all i showed a video i was like yo i was like before i showed y'all what i'm about to show you i want to i want y'all to see this and i showed him the video jacob please remind me to pop up the video so they can see they're aware we're gonna pop up the video right here and there's two videos i show her walking showing all the paintings paintings her walking how she talks um her body movement, you know, I'm like, I'm showing her, I'm showing them everything. And I'm like, yo, get, I'm like, guess how old she is? She's 92 years old, bro. 92. This lady moves, talks, dances, paints. Like, I'm talking, she moves like she's maybe 50, 55 years old, bro. Nah, gang, she moves like she's like 30. Like, I'm not even trying like, to hype it up. Like, like even me, I behind my days, so I'm like, damn, bro, yeah, I still be a hito, bro. She dead as a like, good. She was moving, you know. She was moving like she like ninety two. You think of anybody ninety two, you would think like oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've only ever met anybody like that, ninety five, and he was like already kinda like slower. But but other than that, bro, I've met like older people and nah bro, I'm like ninety two. So we're talking nineteen twenty something. I don't know the year <laughs> that she was born. Ninety two and I'm like, Y'all wanna hear a crazy story? And I'm like, they're like, What's up? I'm like, look, look. I go over her house one day. And she tells me, she's she's telling me with passion, bro. Like, you can tell when someone's telling the truth that you, I, I feel like she probably has told this to many people and they probably just think she's crazy, right? Yeah. Especially because he has viejita, she's older. But she was like, yo, look, she told me that she um, got abducted by aliens. And the story is that she was, uh, you know, from El Campo, like a little pueblito when she was a kid, when she was like 10 or 11. She doesn't remember the age. And that she, like, saw a light. And when she went to the light, I don't know where she just blacked out. She doesn't remember anything. But she remembers one thing. And she remembers this painting right here. And I pop, we'll pop up the painting right here. Boom. And this is the painting. She said she vividly remembers what she saw that day. It was this this thing. Whatever you see, she vividly, she painted that. And, uh, and this is what she remembers. And she says she got abducted by aliens and that they, and she showed me a shot. So she got injected. It was her right leg or left leg? Left leg. Left leg. It was her left leg. And there's a shot that she has that she doesn't know how she got it. She can't explain it. She never got that shot. But she showed me it. And she's like, I got this shot. And ever since I haven't gotten sick, you see how I'm moving? Like, I, I'm perfectly fine. I have no health issues. I have been okay my entire life. And I, I show, and I, and I, and I, Show Felipe and I tell this story, bro. This fucking Felipe loses it, bro. Why did you lose it? Cause, bro, like this is literally what I would see on those. Like sometimes I would watch the shows and some of them. Mind you, before you, before you continue, mind you, he didn't tell me any of this. I didn't know no, any yeah, of this. He, like, I this, is, this is more like a little secret of mine. You get me? Yeah. Like a little like my guilty pleasures. Like I like watching. No, no, like no. That. I'm saying like you didn't tell me this. Like I told you the story first of oh, what she saw, what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before but you he, told is, me. I, he didn't know none of that. He didn't want. He didn't watch none of those shows, right? Yeah. Well, be, before you get into that, I know Felipe is a big like he he really likes this. Like what like likes knowing about aliens or knows a lot about aliens because when you told him oh she saw the alien. He said, what kind of aliens, though? Because there's yeah. a bunch type of aliens. Right. They got the brown one, the big-headed, the this, the that. So that's how you know Felipe knew. Right. Uh, he knew his alien shit. Right. Uh, but I said, I, I've watched these shows, and these are, like, people that come on, and they're really serious. And, like, sometimes they, like, they don't want to show their face or identity. Because, bro, like, in the world, like, if even now, like, I I, I first thought, I was like, yeah, she crazy, gang. Okay? Yeah. And then he started showing me proof. I was like, damn, this lady, like, moving. And her, her drawing skills are good. And you're saying... She's 92, and she don't get sick, bro. That's kind of insane, bro. What did that shot look like? Did it look like one of these? 
the one like the Mexican one? No, nah, like no. Nah. Is it like deep? In? Bro, I don't. I don't. It was just. It just looked like a shot, gang. It was like on her left leg. But is it I'll like, do, like I'll, a scar? I'm gonna. Bro, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Man, what is this? Bitch? Yeah. Why are you always bringing this shit around? <laughs> you got your ID renewed. <laughs> My fault, man. It's just a force of habit at this point. But go ahead, continue. Why you got tripped out? Because exactly how like uh, the people that come on these shows talk about their experience and what happened to them is exactly what Diego described. And I'm like, bro, that's so insane because I've always seen it. But I'm, you know, I'm like, oh, it's just something to feed my mind. You get me? Like something to entertain me. But when when he was showing me, like, proof of her moving, proof of her, her art skills, proof that she's this old and, and healthy, I was like, damn, bro. Like, yeah. this is insane. By the way, the photo he pops up, I'm already bidding on it. <laughs> hey, no one bidding on that shit. <laughs> yeah. I want to buy that painting. That painting is a, is a trip. It's a trip because she, like, bro, I'm telling you, she showed me this and she's like, like she's like, this is what I remember. This is what I saw when I was a kid. And she's like, I I wouldn't draw it for fun. Like I don't know where. Like this is what happened. And she like try like you could tell with her like trying to convince me like bro like I'm not crazy. Like you could tell like you know what? And crazy? I thought at first I was like, oh, stop your heat, bro. She's, yeah, so that's one of <laughs> the know? crazy. Yeah, that's super but fucking bro. crazy because I, that's one of my biggest fears too when I get older. <laughs> and like bro, like you know we've lived some pretty crazy. Sh- you know what I mean? And I'm I'm scared that one day I'm gonna talk I'm gonna talk to my grandkids and I'm gonna tell them this, this, and this, and they're gonna be like, uh-huh. the viejito pedorro. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, they're gonna lower your oxygen tank. Yeah, like, <laughs> just, they're gonna be yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, they're gonna be like, like yeah. Brand Dom's gonna be on his desk, uh, like uh, on his older age. He's gonna be like, Bro, when I was your age, I used to dog back like, in the day. No, I'm gonna be like, right. no, I'm gonna be like, yo tenía un canal se llamaba los chicos tóxicos. Like, oh, it's my- <laughs> yeah. Like, no, who's going on YouTube? Bro, people used to people used to take pictures with me. Yeah, yeah like here uh, we go again. Here we go. Oh, hey, so, pop. Hey, gr- hey, gr- grandpa's going through uh, dementia again, man. <laughs> <laughs> so that's but that's one of the things. Like Felipe said, you did get into details. I did hear a story, and Felipe has heard the same story too. We, I, I remember. I don't know if it was like on some like Discovery Channel, National Geographic, or it was uh, like Unsolved Mysteries. Anyway. Same thing happened to this older person, right? Apparently, and it's always the people that work in the fields or work in the yeah, farm. right. It's like, like in the, the people Rural. 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 yeah, yeah, all like hella, like I don't know why, but that's uh, and the and you know in Lancaster they claim, uh, my girlfriend's sister has claimed she's seen you like, where where where, 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 where Lancaster. Yeah. But you know what? What fascinates me before you continue this is just it. There's like not proof, but there's a lot of weird shit on like pyramids, whether that be the Aztec pyramid, the Mayan pyramids, you know, the Egyptian pyramids. There's like weird carvings on it that you're like why the f- they draw this you get me yeah and then they're perfectly aligned <laughs> with certain stars yeah how did I, I, let's no. not go to because they're gonna think we'll just be delusions no, that's fine they can think whatever they want but it's true it is true yeah. because how did it have that how in the Bro. when did the pyramids exist oh it's thousands but of you years. know how did they have that much technology back you know, they then they actually don't know they actually don't like there's no real evidence on how like they say they move them but, but those they're way the limestones are huge but they're tons and then some of them are like perfectly cut too like they like you bro, they say like if it, they were off by an inch, supposedly. Off by an inch, it wouldn't work. You know that, it's right? It's one of those things where like we look at it or scientists look at it now and they're like, bro, like it's it's pretty hard for us to even have that type of technology in this time and age or age and time, let alone thousands and thousands of years ago. So that it trips them out. Yeah, bro. But hold hold on. The moral of the story was that I've seen this same case happen before. And I'm not and I'm not knocking I'm not knocking Tota, right? Because yeah. at the end of the day, bro, like She's older. The guy's older. Like I doubt they like they can just they know how to go on YouTube and you know what right, I mean. Right, right, right. So you, that's something that you guys got to keep in, in in mind as well. Anyway, so what happened to this guy? Same thing. He was in the field in the farmlands or whatnot, and then he got abducted by aliens, right? And same thing. He saw a bright light. Bright light turned into boom blackout. You remember anything? Right. Um, th- he says that he woke up. In the middle of like when they were doing some sort of, sort of uh, I don't know what they were doing, but they were doing something to his body. He slightly woke up, remember seeing these creatures, and then completely blacked out again. But he did say that they they put something in his body. I can't say if it was an injection, maybe an IV. I don't know what it was, right? But he said that from there till now, he has never gotten sick. He has never like none none of these things that like a cold. In calentura, like nothing has ever happened to him, and he said that he's in the best shape of his life now compared to that he was back then. Yeah, bro. So it's a trip. So if there really are these 
hu- not humans, sorry. These, the thing is, it's like some sort of beings out there that are just coming over here and they're using us as like like guinea, guinea pigs? pigs. Yeah. Jinx and, the and, <laughs> <laughs> and then they use that and then they're taking it back to wherever they're from. But they're using like, bro, that's like, think about how advanced they are. I can't even like, I can't even put into thought what they're injecting into us for that sh- to just knock out every disease, every like, every, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't like, know, it's bro. Crazy. I and don't why know. why us? Like, are we that similar to them that they can just use us as? If this know, is real, it's, it's, it's a tr- thing The thing is, it's like. When it's more than one person telling the same story, that's when it's starting to trip me out. Because it's yeah. like, okay, what's, like, something's happening. Like, and, it's, yeah. and there's living proof. A certain amount of people can lie, you feel me? Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, there is liars out there. Like, I'm not going to tell you, like, all the shit I would see. Where, like, sometimes I'd be like, this motherfucker lying, <laughs> Like, I can, you just want some clout, huh? <laughs> you just, hey, hey, are you, uh, you have any stories about aliens? Are you going to be on TV? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, oh, bad, bad. No, no, I have crazy stuff. <laughs> yeah. and I'm like, bro, like, I know you're lying, but there's some people there, bro, that are really, like, you could tell they're scared. They're even speaking about what they went through. You yeah, I'm going to be honest. I don't think Tota has any reason why she wants to make a fake story. Or why no, that's what I'm lie. saying. And then, and then you Mind can you, When tell did she tell you that? I'm so sorry. Yeah, but you can... You this can, was from like... This story yeah, was... She's told you like... Yeah, she told me this years ago. You know, like she's like, oh, my, my, my grandson about telling the whole world. On the I mean? like, yeah. podcast. Oh, no. like, Nah, she told me no, that shit like two years ago. And you can ago. tell someone when someone's being genuine because they're like literally look at you in the eyes and they're like, "Yeah, I need you to believe me." Like, like yeah, listen, like they want to get that point across. Yeah. So you know she has no point of lying. Exactly. But it's too f- scary, bro. It's really, 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 really scary. Let me know if you guys. I don't think I don't know if she has a visa or not. I would say like let's fly her out. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't know if she has a visa or not. Man, but tell her I'm bidding for this painting. Man. I got you, gay. Okay? But if you guys want her, maybe I'll, I'll vlog it. Maybe I'll go to Ecuador and vlog that and interview her and be like, "Yo, tell I, your story." Yeah. I, that'd I told be nuts. You, I told you that'd be a great idea. Um, let's uh, yeah, bro. That that re- I literally texted the guy that my like, hey, that, that story's so fucking with me. <laughs> yeah. Cause I like I'm telling you like I'm obsessed with these type of things, but I'm not. I don't think I'm hey, that gullible. Go, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, go pee without me. Nah, but what um, what's it call it? The hangover cure is probably crazy, huh? They probably never had a, a hangover if they never got sick. Mm. <laughs> if I could just wake up and just like let's, let's get this shit going again. <laughs> <laughs> Where the Don Julio shot at, man? Ah, that's crazy. You think she drank? I'm sure she drank, bro. Did she smoke? You know what? I, uh, she might be smoking now, gang. I don't know. That's the crazy. Part, I don't bro. know. That's I just, think she does. Like, like I'm telling you, look at the video. Like I'm not, obviously I'm not saying she's fucking an Olympic track star, but <laughs> but she's moving. Like I guarantee you, she she moves better than. 99 point then like a 75 year old then a normal seven then year just old. a six year old bro yeah i'm like wow like she's actually moving yeah you would never think like already we, you guys saw the video because we're gonna we popped it up yeah you guys you guys be the judge you guys let me know what you guys think do you guys have any stories by the way we uh we're putting down the google spreadsheet right here so y'all can tell us your stories so we have that we, uh we'll make it right now so <laughs> oh my god i we'll hope so it. And y'all tell us any stories about it, but don't be on some lying shit, because I, yo me la creo, bro. I, I be falling <laughs> for it. I'll be like, no way. The thing is, bro, if they make any stories and they're like, in Mexico, you have no uh, proof. There's no way you can yeah, prove yeah, it. There's no proof. There's, there's no, no way you can be like, hey, let me go look to this spot right here. Yeah. You can't do it. Nah, but, I, and like, the shows that would always talk about how Mexico, like the, the volcano in Mexico is like a really hot spot. And there's like a lot of, like, they would show videos of like crafts <laughs> going over. Anyways, man, um, it is it is a crazy topic, bro. Uh, I'm glad y'all. Spend time with us today. Y'all, y'all took time out of your d- busy, busy Monday day. Don't you are going to buy the painting, bro. You f- shot a crazy offer, bro. Bro, like... You shot a crazy yeah, offer. Yeah, this motherfucker's awesome shit. You wanted to make sure that, like, like no one can go ban for ban for you, with you. You just went in... You didn't even lowball. You went for, like, the highest f- in. You knew she w- cannot say no to that offer. You knew. Anyways, um... I have said yeah, I'm just a really big fanatic into like all that. Oh, bro! Actually, uh, Halloween is right around the corner. We're gonna get really into like some crazy, scary topics. Oh, we should do a topic. Ouija board video. Chilling. Yeah, always on. This month. Oh, it's not even shit. on bullshit. Nah, bro. bro. That's just your, I don't you're, that. You're, you're literally opening up doors to like the f-ing, like devil, bro. Like, yeah. That's some scary. Shit, like, you can do it. Why don't you do it, gang? You want to do it so bad? Why don't you do a you video? I've actually channel. done it before. Have you? Yeah. No, we haven't done it done it on video. I don't believe you. I don't. I, there's no proof. You know what they say? There's no proof until it's on video. No pick, no clout. No pick, yeah. no clout. <laughs> I, I mean, you have your own personal YouTube channel. I think I you should do, do it. it nah, I'm gonna go do scary videos though for sure because they did do that when I first started. I, I, I remember I went to an abandoned house. Yeah, hell no. Yeah, bro, it was, it was scary. It's on Topanga Canyon. I re- I if you know, you know. Why don't you want to start your own channel? 
I just, I just don't. It's not do for it. you, huh? It's not really for me. Like if I would, if I would do so, a lot of pe- you know what's so funny that a lot of people were showing a lot of love to me, like uh, on the DMs, and a lot of people were telling me like, "Yo, you should start your your own YouTube channel." It's just the fact that like <clears throat> when we started this project, right? It was more like I knew in real, shit, like, I knew you guys were gonna be. Like you guys were so hungry and you guys wanted to do this, want to do that. I'm like, Fuck it, like, let me go help out my boys, whatever. And then it turned into one thing and then to another. And then now, like, the lifestyle has definitely changed. Not in a negative way. It's just been a lot more busier. This, this, and this. And you guys know me. Like, you guys know I don't really like to travel. I like to be inside my house. I like to be close to my grandmother. Most importantly, because you know, well, I mean, like, we, you know, like my grandma lives by herself. If I'm not there, yeah. So. I don't know, but I just feel like it's just a lot of doing this, a lot of doing that. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy it, but I'll just let you guys do that. And I'll pop out, like, when you guys have your own personal channels, I just pop up here and there, yeah. whatever, or doing the streams. I think the streams are dope. But, nah, bro, my, my main thing is, like, chicos toxicos. I feel that. That's all I mean. Yeah, yeah. Let's so, clarify that. <laughs> and another thing, too, and, I, and I'm going to be very, 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 like, blunt about this, right? You guys can keep it, you guys can cut it, whatever. Um, like, we love, we love doing this, the YouTubes and everything. But I fell in love with seeing this channel as a baby. Like, it was literally a baby. And we literally are, like, growing it little by little. And, like, it's in, I just want to get to the point where, like, I, I see this. We see this and we're like, whoa. Like, we literally, it came from a thought. Chicos Toxicos, his name, right? Came from that into building this fucking ama- amazing empire. And we were there from the start. And we were nurturing it. We were taking care of it. And we were doing the impossible to make it grow. Mm-hmm. Like, that's what I fell in love with. You know what I mean? But, you know... Like you guys, you guys love the content, the videos of this and of that. Right. No, Chico Stokes is still our main priority. Of yeah. course. Uh, we always said this. I even, like, I don't know. I just, I, it's funny, bro. Felipe was the first one to buy the camera. He been, he's been he been vlogging for the past month. I'm going to keep it 100. I'm going to keep it 100. Like, it's real shit. It's real shit talking. I bought the camera and then I was like, I was like, I would come up with ideas for myself. Mm-hmm. And I'd be like, nah, bro, it's more, like, this is a better, for we do it for ourselves, yeah. you get me? That's why I never, like, yeah, I would film us, but I'm not going to lie, bro, all the footage that I have I was able to keep because my dumb ass erased my SIM card, bro, literally, it's just, like, memories that I just keep on my SD. I literally have a separate SD, and it's literally just, like, uh, not SD, a hard drive, and it's just, like, memories, like, from when we're old. Because, like, yeah, I could film a video, like, really, I could film a video, and I'm not saying, like, how I said, all, all of my priorities are Chico Sox, I'm just, like, Bro, I just want to grow this channel to a million. Like, I don't, I don't really, I don't really want to do my own shit yet. Like, I bought the camera, bro, te lo juro. And I'm just like, damn, gang. Like, the video idea I came up with, I was like, bro, this would be better with Chico's Toxicos. Mm-hmm. You get me? Like, my, if I do my shit, I feel like it's more going to be more family stuff, like, with my sisters. Because I really enjoy spending time with my sisters when I have the chance, or my mom, or my dad. So, that's literally what I would vlog for my shit. But, like, like when I've thought of bangers, for, like, I guess for myself, I'm like, Nah, that's a chico. To- like the, the, but I, the Mexico, I, I think like I did. The Mexico I have some one, right now. That was gonna be my video game. Yeah. Like I was gonna go to I was gonna go to Mexico and like San Diego and all that. But I was like, nah, that's a chico toxic mm-hmm. over Cause I wanted to do it with my brothers. Right, right, right. So right, I, right. I, I, yeah. I, that's why I did buy the camera first. But my dumb ass like, bro, me arrepentí. Like, like I was, I felt like I was doing something naughty. Mm-hmm. But what do you mean? I don't know. Like you just felt like you were like going like. I, you were spending. You were. You were. I, w- I was already thinking like, oh, I'm gonna do this, this, and this, and this. And I was like, bro, if we do those videos on Chico's Toxicos, they would be better. It not it would be better, but I was like, those are better. Like those are great ideas that should be on Chico's Toxicos. If that do makes you sense. feel like you were kind of like you feel like you were kind of hoeing us in in a sense? Yeah, yeah but I, I wasn't. But no, I wasn't. I know. I know really but were. but I that's what but I like, felt. If you ever want to come up with any, if you come up with an yeah, idea, we can just do it on his channel. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. We can nah, it on your channel. nah. I I tell you my. Again, like, like uh, and obviously it's you two and Diego. My shit's chico. So I want that shit. Hey, one M on it. Once yeah. it's one M, yeah, I don't go. I'll do it another channel. But yeah, no, that's yeah. still my bro. Like I said, my still my main priority. And I wasn't like I said, bro. Felipe was the first one to buy the the vlogging camera. He told me he's like, hey man, Sony um, ZV One if you need it. Yeah, I'm gonna start vlogging. I'm gonna start vlogging. I was like, yeah, bro, let's, like go for it, go it. Like, I, we all said at one point we're gonna start vlogging our own channel. We, this has yeah. been in the talks for months. Now I'm gonna tell you guys something like some. And I'm, I'll, I'll say it here. You guys can cut it off, whatever. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Like once we're able to do like the most from this from Chico's Toxico itself, right? Like whatever. I feel like I'm gonna get to the point. Me personally, once we get to a goal, maybe one million. Who knows? Maybe I'll do this for another year. I really don't know. Right after that, like. I'm just gonna start my own family, bro. Like I'm just gonna go do my own thing. <laughs> bro, bro's gonna be awesome McBroom with no, the family I'll, channel. No, 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 no. Nah, no, 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 no
I'm oh. focused, like outside of I, outside of campus. Like I'm gonna start like you know being spending more time with my grandmother, getting her that home that I wanted to start my own family. Nah, like, the fuck is gonna they're gonna be like so they're stopping at a million now. Nah, that we nah, never gonna nah, subscribe. Nah, we're gonna stop at a million, but <laughs> nah. I'm just gonna move on. Like you know, just go back to like my regular life. Just do like my own thing. Go back to you Barbie. said it here first. I don't want people to be like, man, you no, no, this no. Up. I said it. I, <laughs> no, I'm, but I'm saying it in advance. Like just go back to my regular. Bro, just yeah, my regular your life will never be regular, bro. Huh? Your life will never be regular. What do you mean? <clears throat> it's never gonna just go away. Someone's always gonna recognize you. I I hate to break. I I hate I hate that I didn't tell you that before you signed up, but someone's gonna remember you, gang. It's just which is cool. It's not <coughs> bad. I love when people come up to us and they're like, "Bro, I love getting those type of DMs." Oh, of and course. Everything. But I'm just saying, at one point, I just we're done. No, no, yeah. no, 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 you know, nah, just, but them just wants to be able to be on the strip club and no one <laughs> recognizes us. <laughs> <that's laughs> yeah. Me, me personally, um, thank you guys for for allowing me to even do my first video. I would never, in a million years, thought I'd be able to give my mom uh, some money like that. So that shout out to crazy, you guys, bro. bro. Thank you guys that. for showing love. Um, I'm and yeah, man, Chico's Toxicos is still and always are going to be our main priority. Uh, it's just we just want to push out more content. As a number That's one it. goal, That's Chico's it. Toxicos, don't forget to go subscribe to Chico's Toxicos, um, like, comment, share, clip it up, and also go check out my boy's YouTube page, Diego V. Naboa. Mm. It's, you should scroll down a little bit and it'll be that video that I gave my mom $10,000. This motherfucker really gave away 10 k <laughs> Gave away? <laughs> Not no Steve will do it. Bless his mom with <laughs> 10k dollars. All I want to say for my part, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for always supporting us, supporting us three dumbasses. I always say, bro, we're just three dumbasses. And um, from Filipito, I love you guys so much. Don't forget to follow me at Filipito96 on TikTok. You don't have to follow me on Instagram. My TikTok's been ass, man. TikTok, fix the fucking algorithm. Oh, God. You know what pissed me off? And, and, and this is why I want to go back to my regular life. I went to Figueroa the other day. <laughs> I went to Figueroa oh, the other day. <laughs> What and happened? you know what she you know what she said? What she said? She said, I rolled the window down and she said, I know you. <laughs> I said, No, I'm like, no, you don't. It's like, yeah, I, I, I seen you somewhere. I was like, nah, I don't know. People say that all the time. No, like I really, really know who you are. I was like, nah, I really, really think you're tripping. And she said, bro, I was trying to drive off, but I didn't want to step on her toes. I didn't want to run over her toes. And I'm like, yo, I really gotta go. Nah, hold on. What's your Instagram? I was like, just <laughs> go off. Hey, man, we love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in. And if you made it this far into the video, comment. Big Com Street. Comment for yeah, Big Big Street. Street. <laughs> We love you guys so much. Thank you guys for the love, the support. Thank you guys for always staying in touch with us. And uh, like Felipe, like Diego said, thank you so much for supporting our dumbasses. Yes, sir. We love you guys so much. Anything else you guys want to say? We'll see you guys next week. Peace. Peace.